welcome to another video in this video i will tell you about how to show hide sitemaps of areas in a model driven app as per table privilege microsoft has already introduced table privileges that you can use in advanced settings for every shop area right let's say this is my uh, school application a model driven app and here i have this navigations available as a sitemap and I want to hide this student uh, student sub area. There might be multiple sub areas pointing to different components. For example, a sub area may point to table, a sub area may point to web resource, it can point to a custom page, external URL, right? Accordingly, right? So if you want to hide any type of sub area that is pointing to different components, how you can do that using table privilege? For example, my scenario is I want to hide the student uh, sub area if uh, i only want to display this sub area students uh, entity sub area for those which are having create privilege on student entity so what i can do i can click on this and click on advanced and click on privileges you will find two privileges table privilege and miscellaneous privilege in the mis miscellaneous miscellaneous privilege there are some miscellaneous pri privileges you can use like uh, use internet uh, marketing allow quick campaign import customization and create ent entity these are miscellaneous privileges but i want table privilege that means only if the login user has create permission on table on student table then only i want this sub area to display so what i can do i can click on this add table privilege and choose the entity this is my entity student and i can choose the privileges among this list let's say i want to only display to the user who has create privilege click on apply and publish that means if a login user if a user will log in and open this app if he has only create permission on this student then only it will display otherwise it will not display let us see how it works let me check a security role called as salesperson this is salesperson let me go to student and the student has create permission you see as because the person has create permission now he can read this he can read the student because i have enabled for create privilege now let us publish this and test this we have to wait till the uh, model driven app is fully published once it is published let me go to the user's credential this is the user's credential let me go to student section and press ctrl f5 because the app should reload right now what i have done still it is telling that the app is running and just update the version just press ctrl f5 to uh, reload the fresh data to the from the server As soon as the uh, message is gone, you are okay. Still, it is telling this message, so press Ctrl F5. Now it is not yet published. Let me publish again. Sometimes it happens. Now once it is published, I can go to again to that user screen. The user is a sales user, the login user is a sales user and I want to validate if the permission or the privilege is working fine for sitemap or not. So it is published. Now I can go to, yeah, still it is publishing guys. Model driven app takes some time to publish. So you have to wait uh, till it successfully completes the publi publishing process. and once it is published the uh, refresh the preview will be refreshed then you understand that it is okay now now i'll go to that screen again and try to refresh press ctrl f5 to refresh you will observe that the student entity student sub, sub area is still displaying that you see 
the student area is displaying but why it is displaying because we have create permission for this user and we have already uh, enabled here that if create permission is there only display this link now let me change this let me switch off the create permission from the security role so this is the student permission and i will just this is the create permission let's make it none that means i am not providing create permission for student to this salesperson security role but here in the uh, model driven app i have enabled this only for create permission you see student create privilege that means only the person having this create privilege only the sub area will display but i have switched off the create permission now let me go to that user screen and refresh it now see the student is not displayed right why because the login user is a sales user and sales user has no create permission and we are only enabling this sub area if student has create permission right like that you have to enable all this required you know uh, business um, requirement you can do the enable all the privileges if you want to hide it right i hope you understand the table permission and next time i will tell you about uh, privilege, uh, miscellaneous privileges thank you guys bye